Suppose we have a list of some objects and we have to convert this list to a map whose keys and values will be the field values of the objects of list. How will you do that? This video will explain you a couple of methods to do this. Before moving further, do not skip to subscribe this channel if you have not already done so. First method is by simply iterating over the list and placing fields of each list item in the map. First create a class whose objects we will be adding to list and will convert this list to a map. Suppose the class is student with fields for row number and name. Generate a constructor to initialize these fields. Also generate getter methods for these fields. We don't need setters, so remove these. Now let's create a list. We can directly use list.off method added in Java 8 and add some student objects created using its constructor with the row numbers and names. Let's move this to new lines so that it is better to understand. We need to convert this list to a map. Map is a data structure having keys and a value corresponding to each key. Suppose the key of map will be the row number and its value will be the name of a student. Define a map. Iterate over this list using a for loop. And in every iteration, add an entry in map with row number as key and name as value using map's put method. Print the map. Look, the map has entries for row number and name of student objects in list. Second method is using Java 8 stream and lambda expression. First get a stream over the list using its stream method and then collect it to a data structure. Here you can convert it to a map using collectors.toMap. Inside toMap you have to provide two values. First value will be the key and second will be the value. Both key and value will be represented by two lambda expressions. Each lambda expression will accept one argument and return one value. If you are not familiar with lambda expression, then do watch the video whose link is given in the top right corner. Since the stream is of student objects, the argument of lambda expression will be a student object and the return value will be the field of student object that you want as a key of map. Since we want roll number as a key, the return value will be roll number. Similarly, the lambda expression for value will be this, since we want the name of student as the value. Assign this to a map. Its key type will be integer and value type will be string. Move these method calls to separate lines for better understanding. Run this. We have converted the list to a map. You can also place the entire student object as a value corresponding to its roll number. For this, just change the return value as the object itself. Also change the type of value in map. Run this. Value of this map is a student object. Since the type of this object is implicit, that is, you can clearly tell that this variable will be a student object, since the stream is of a list of student objects. We can replace this with student, double colon, get roll number method. This double colon is called reference operator which was introduced in Java 8. You can see that this syntax is more clear and concise. That is all in this video. See you in the next one.